Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we're going to have ourselves a 1v1 on Link's Pocket. Our heroes today are going to be Vindicar X, playing as the US forces in the yellow. And his opponent in the pink or purple trunks is going to be level 5 Gentle Fox, playing as the Ostir or Wehrmacht faction. Should be a good old game. Vindicare X always putting out quite a show. One of the uh, the earlier casts, I suppose, that I've had, but um, I can't actually remember who was my first one. I think it was Fahu who I casted first, but oh, well, it's been actually quite a while now. So anyways, we got Gentle Fox going techless. He uh, goes for the MG, of course, since you can get that from your base. Even though nobody needs to know that at this point, I'm probably going to keep mentioning that for a, quite a while. And going for a second MG, so we're going to be focusing on those MGs. Doctrine already selected for Gentle Fox, and that is the Festung Armor Doctrine. That, of course, does not give him anything early on, so I suppose he has some type of strategy in mind. And why he chose that right away. But, um, yeah, we'll see uh, We'll see what turns up. Vindicar X for his part, she's getting rifles, rifles and rifles. Two rifles to start off with. We see wire getting laid down out on the open field. Not a, not a lot that this wire is doing, to be exact, but it is, you know, creating some obstacles in the way of the opponent, so they have to go around and things like that. But, yeah, once again, it's like the kind of things, like I mentioned, that you can just simply do because you have the time. Your units are going to be capping regardless. You can build some wire anywhere you want. Even if it's not precisely taking away cover, which is normally what a lot of people do. And what you should do whenever possible is putting down wire on the other side of some heavy cover to deny it to your opponent. So anyways, center map, victory point. Rifles trying to get the cap. MG42 catching them out of the open, getting a suppression going. They are trying to, uh, they are trying to crawl out of the way. They managed to do so. And the Pios are going to get right on top of them. The rifles do end up retreating. They don't want to take any unnecessary losses or damage to their health. We don't have an ambulance on the field for Vindicare X, so that health damage can start to, uh, well, take effect. It's not really the right word, but, you know, it can become important later on. So for now, he's just going to retreat, save himself some manpower, and then move back out onto the field with the MG42 for support. I mean, even if they had been able to get into some other light cover and turn around and fight the Pios, they would have still probably not won, so. MG42 catching another rifle up in, well, not really up, it's on the far right hand side. Forcing it to retreat as another Pyro Squad gets right on top of them, and we see that Gentle Fox has gotten himself a third MG42, so strong MG42 opening. I can only assume then he is going to skip tiers, yeah. It's going uh, battle phase one, probably tier two going to be going down, I doubt that he's going to be skipping all the way and just relying on MGs. But for now, the MGs seem to be doing the job, catching rifles all over the place, they do manage to... Uh, Stave off the pins as they just crawl out of the way and the MG42s are being repositioned for Gentle Fox. He does not want to risk getting himself in range of maybe a uh, grenade or something like that. If he were to lose an MG right now, that would actually be quite devastating for him. Vinda Corrects going to be going for a lieutenant after the third rifle squad. Lieutenant will be able to help out quite a bit there. MG42 taking some shots at the fence, not managing to do too much to the rifles. The rifles moving themselves around, pushing away the Pyo squad, and the Pyo squad is just going to go towards the center. Rifle still just... Again, moving around. One thing to remember is that you can't actually pop your units into this watchtower to get a quick view. Is he actually going to do that? <gasps> he is going to do that. Well, there you go. Yeah, like, if you do that, that actually allows you to get sight range past the... Uh, past the, uh, past the fence. Or wall, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, center map, rifle squad getting caught once again by an MG and the Pios, this time getting pinned down, forced to retreat, lieutenant is on the field, the rifle squad pushes forward, pushes back, MG42 still sitting there covering the entire approach so the rifles won't be able to do too much. But yeah, I was just mentioning that this uh, this one specifically is just, it's kind of the better one. You pop it in, you can actually get side past the wall and look at what's on the other side, which is what been corrects it. Center map, Pyos pushing uh, away, or not pushing away, but moving away. As we see tier 2 having gone down for Gentle Fox, and we now see a 2 2 2 on the field for Mr. Gentle Fox. Interesting decision. It's not gonna do too much with its auto cannon, but that MG still is pretty dangerous and can help out against those rifles 
significantly. Could potentially even catch a squad on the retreat, gun it down. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, maybe a half track, but no, I mean, there's no combat infantry, so really not that big a deal, so, yeah. 2 2 still finds pretty good, so, moves up, catches the lieutenant, forces it to retreat, takes some damage on the retreat, but the lieutenant will make it out of there just fine, not even losing any of its members. Left-hand side, pile squad with a flamethrower, pushing a rear echelon squad away, flamethrower burst going off, squad taking some hits, but managing to stay alive with four men remaining. SMG shots continue to fly in their direction, but they're too far away, and the SMGs just miss completely. Right hand side, rear echelon squad once again, getting pushed away by the 222. And Gentle Fox, handling himself pretty well with just MGs. Gonna be getting a pack gun to counter any type of vehicle, and a pretty uh, nice. Um, I wouldn't say guess, but you know. Read <laughs> by Gentle Fox getting the pack on right now as we see that Vindicar X is actually building himself a uh, a flag half track. Well, actually, that's called the anti air half track, right? I always get confused between the OKW and the, uh, <laughs> the US Forces half track. Pretty similar trucks, but you know, one of these is not the same, I suppose. Piles getting some flamethrower burst going off on the rifles. Rifles taking a lot of damage. Five men strong still. However, they are very low in health. We'll be taking some losses here on the retreat. There goes one. Probably a second one to the burst of the auto cannon. Oh, the MG actually catching a couple there. Down to three men. And yeah, makes it out of there just fine. Ambulance would not go amiss here for Vindicar X. He has suffered a lot of health damage on his troops. Look at the lieutenant. Very low in health, but still five men strong. That is like 25% strength. They're all going to die very quickly in the next engagement. So Vindicar cannot really afford to push with them. Won't be able to leave any type of... Uh, how would, how would you say? Um, yeah, like when you push and try to flank an MG, you leave a squad there to absorb the damage. Well, you can't really do that if the squads are like less than half health with full men. They're going to die very quickly. So the anti-air half-track now on the field for Vindicar X. The uh, 222 moving away. 222 does have a shot at killing the anti-air half-track. However, it is very difficult. Anti-air half-track does not need to set up. And as long as it's looking at it, you know, in its actual firing arc, we'll actually take it down very quickly. So... It is a very nice tool to maybe finish it off, but not to take it on by itself. And yeah, just look at all that health damage on Vindicar X's squads. Ambulance is on the field, and he's now getting the heals going, which is in <laughs> dire need of, but yeah, I mean... Very nice, cool thinking here for Vindicar. He knows, yeah, like, I'm, I'm not in the best of shape when it comes to health. This squad out here is already pretty messed up. I should just, you know, concede... Whatever territory gets taken from me right now and just move back. However, Gentle Fox doing kind of the same thing. He goes ahead and builds himself a med bunker and moves everything back. All his MGs and everything. I mean, he does have a pack gun out on the field. That's about it. Everything else is currently back. And they will heal up with the med bunker. 2 2 is also out there, but of course. Panzer Grenadiers now finally coming onto the field. Eight minutes into the game and we finally get a combat infantry or combat uh, group for uh, Gentle Fox. Should be able to uh, perform relatively well against what's on the field right now for Vindicar X. And the uh, five-man rifle squad will continue to cap around on the map on the left-hand side. Probably be having to retreat on the first sign of engagement, but for now, pretty solid. 2-2-2, two, 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 moving up, taking some shots at the lieutenant. The lieutenant is back to full strength, so it's not really going to take too much damage to that. We rush on squad with its uh, sweepers, moving up. MG42 catching the rear echelon squad as the Pios push forward. The anti-air half-track is almost in range of that Pios squad. Not quite. And on the right-hand side, the MG42 catching the lieutenant. Far right-hand side, we see a rear echelon squad and a rifle squad pushing on a Pios squad. The Pios squad will lose here if it doesn't retreat. It does retreat, so it won't take too much damage. And the 222 moves up to support. Pagon still holding the center. The anti-air half-track still sitting around there. And on the far left-hand side, the Storm... Uh, not Storm Pioneer, sorry. The Panzer Grenadiers catching that very damaged rifle squad, forcing it to retreat down to three men. Very low in health. But, well, they're coming back to the base now, so they should be able to get to the I suppose. Anti-air half-track catching the Panzer Grenadier squad a little bit out of position. Maybe able to chase it down and kill it, but I don't think that Vindicare is going to be wanting to bait himself into that. The uh, pack gun moving up, potentially trying to get some hits, but the rifle squad was there to stop it. And the... Uh, the MG42 on the left-hand side is getting assaulted here by the entire half-track. 
Lieutenant trying to push forward as the MG42 tries to stop it cold. Rifle squad on the flank getting them down to two men. 222 managing to stop the Lieutenant. And the MG focus is now on the rifle squad. Rifle squad will be forced away as it's currently suppressed. And we see that the anti-air half-track is still trying to dislodge that MG. MG now getting pinned down. The effect of its shots aren't really going to be of any effect now. But it's pinned down. And the anti-air half-track may be able to take it down. Down to one man. Oh, nasty hit there by the pack gun. 222 getting some shots on the rear armor. And there goes another shot. Vindicare X overextending himself here with the anti-air half-track. And Gentle Fox managing to just quickly seal the deal. He needed to move that and retreat when he lost the center. But, well, the center was lost, so the troops just moved out and cut, cut off his retreat. Really didn't have much of a chance to live there at that point. Even if he had pushed forward, he would have had to try to dance around. Very difficult, but... Rear echelon squad going to the rear, trying to cap that strategic point. Manages to decap it. The 222 now on top of them, trying to push him off the point. Manages to force the retreat, so not much is going to happen, but then we see Vindicare going for the cutoff here as he goes for the other strategic point, making it so that Gentle Fox has a uh, interruption in resources, at least for a little while. Panzer Grenadiers moving up to engage the rifles. The rifles are down to four men, four on four against Panzer Grenadiers. They're not going to win. We'll be able to get some damage on the Panzer Grenadiers as they are in max range, but even then, the uh, assault rifles there are rather good. Grenade does fly. Oh, Panzer Grenadiers taking a shot. Oh, losing one of their members in the rifles retreat. Pyos will be recovering the point eventually. Far right-hand side, rear echelon squad capturing something, as on the left-hand side we see the pack on capturing that munitions. 222 in the center, forced to backpedal a little bit here as it gets assaulted by some rifles. Rifles do have access to the anti-tank rifle grenade at veteran C1, but it's going to be a while before they can uh, finish off that 222. Center map, lieutenant pushing forward. We see rifles now equipped with bars. How many bars is that? Uh, he did go for two, so very nice. So that uh, rifle squad does have a lot of anti infantry firepower. Should be able to stop the uh, Ooh, nice ref nice, nice uh, smoke uh, grenade going off there by the rifles for Vindicare, managing to decap that fuel. I'm gonna be retreating, but they'll recover it quickly. The enemy is overrunning one Little, of our uh, strike points. mission there. And on the far right hand side, Pyle's going for the victory point. Vindicarex currently holding a triple cap against Gentle Fox, but he ha himself has been bled to 381 points, while Gentle Fox sits comfortably at 462. Going to bleed, bleed a couple more here, as there's still two points against him, but should be soon coming to a close here. And Vindicare essentially run off the map right now. Bazookas have been acquired for the rifles. Remember that the U.S. forces, uh, the... Uh, the, the weapon racks have been merged into sh just one upgrade. It's the uh, weapon rack unlock. Costs a little bit more than a single one before, but it allows you to get access to both. You obviously still have to pay the munitions to get the weapons, so that cost has not been changed. But, you know, you don't have to be deciding whether to spend one or the other. You just pop one and have access to all of them. And yeah, we see that squad with... I don't know why I'm following it manually, if I could just do that. Uh, we see that squad there with a, uh, a lone bazooka. Should be able to help out against a 222. Don't need a lot of firepower to take down a 222. And, well, I mean, just having one essentially keeps it at bay, so... Doesn't really need much more than that. Do see a captain on the field now for Vindicare X, so with the addition of the captain, those are two bazookas, extra bazookas now on the field, so that is definitely more than enough. And we see that rest of the rifle squads getting equipped with, uh, with bars. This squad over here has double bars. Yeah, the double bars are great against the uh, Panther Grenadiers. Panther Grenadiers are not going to be able to survive that. Uh, by themselves, at least. Pilot squad is coming up on the flank on the rifle squad, but, you know, Panther Grenadier squad is still taking quite a beating. In center map, we see a rifle squad getting pinned down to an MG42, popping a smoke right in front of it. And we do have the bazooka right there. 222 moving up. Bazooka going to take a shot. Gets a hit. Nice hit there on the 222 and the 222 GTFOing following because, yeah, that's what it has to do. Pack Howitzer on the field for Vindicare X. Pack Howitzer, I didn't really like it that much when it first came out, but it is pretty solid now, especially with the uh, blob, <laughs> anti blob features that got added. It now has suppression. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty solid and it's pretty strong too. I know they have made some changes to. Uh, Kind of prevent, like, single-hit squad wipes, which is, you know, kind of sad from a server's perspective, because, you know, it's awesome to see that happen. But I get, you know, the frustrating nature of it. 
Panzer Grenadiers getting upgraded with Shreks, making them 50% less deadly. Well, not really 50%, but, you know, lowering their DPS against infantry significantly, since they only have two rifles. So the Shreks can still hit, you know, infantry every once in a while, so it's, you know, not exactly 50%. Lieutenant and rifles pushing forward. We do have a bazooka on one of the rifle squads. The 222 puts himself in a bit of a dangerous spot there. MG42 taking a grenade to the face, forced to retreat. Pios in the center, trying to hold the line. The lieutenant is down two men. Could potentially lose itself, but the Pios are currently focusing on the bazooka. Bazooka takes a shot. The 222 does not get hit, but it is, again, enough to dissuade it from continuing its presence in the map. And tier three has gone down for General Fox, as we see the Panzer IV coming online. Panzer IV. Should be able to take a couple more bazooka shots then. <laughs> then the 2 2 AT gun now on the field for Vindicar X. Right on time as the Panzer IV hits the field. Panzer IV has not even made itself known, but I'm sure he can anticipate at 16 minutes some type of vehicle play. And we also see Vindicar X going for his own doctrine, and that is the Armor Company. So we can only assume he's going to go for Wolverines. And then the Bulldozer Sherman, so yeah. We don't see a Major on the field for, uh, for Vindicar X, so... You know, point. Considering the doctrine, it's very possible he's not even going to uh, consider the major anymore. So the Panzer IV on the field. Everything retreating for Vindicar X, the uh, pack howitzer. Yeah, One kill, so, you know, it's doing pretty good. <laughs> but every... What was that? Oh, okay. Crushed some uh, the, the barrels there. Uh, but yeah, everything back at base right now for Vindicar X, getting healed up at the same time. And, uh, yeah. AT gun in the center. Pack howitzer trying to move back. Nice shot goes off on the Panzer IV. Nailing it. Taking a chunk there of its health. Maybe like 20%. And the AT gun is being told to target only, uh... Only vehicles or prioritized vehicles, to be exact. Oh! Nice shot there by the pack howitzer. Nailing the, uh, the Panzer Grenadier on the run. Down to two men, forces a retreat as they don't want to stay there. They don't have rifles to shoot against infantry. And yeah. Mortar getting called in for a Gentle Fox. Interesting choice at this point, but not a bad one whatsoever. With the pack howitzer on the field and the AT gun. You know, there's a lot of st stationary targets to shoot at, so not a bad thing. The pack howitzer, of course, is a great option for Vindicar X, considering the sheer amount of MGs. MG42 getting quickly taken down to one man, forced to retreat. Second one behind it. Of course, the pack up and the uh, reposition. And on the left hand side, we see the 222 engaging some rear echelons as they try to go capping some territory. MG42 on the far left hand side. Pack Howitzer still on the field, taking some shots at whatever it can. Oh, a nice direct shot there on the pack gun. The pack gun is um, down to two men, very low in health. High risk of getting killed off, but manages to stay alive. Pack Howitzer once again taking some more shots at the MG. MG does get itself suppressed there by the shots of the Pack Howitzer. Can it make it out of there alive? Well, there goes the Pack Howitzer. Can it hit? No, it misses completely, and the Lieutenant stays on the field. Pio Squad trying to clear off the Lieutenant. Not imagining to do so. And the Lieutenant pushes forward. Pack Howitzer continues to take some shots, and we do have the Mortar on the field for Gentle Fox. Not hitting anything just yet, but... The lieutenant is crawling around on the floor, although not really the lieutenant. The lieutenant himself has been killed. Pretty much the first one to die all the time. I mean, we can see right there his body laying down behind a tree. Thompson's on machine gun discarded. Nobody wanted to pick it up. Sad face. Uh, so anyways, uh, whoa, the uh, 222 actually getting caught a little bit out of position there by the rifle squad. Taking quite a bit of damage there to the bars. Probably took an anti-tank rifle grenade. Yeah, as the engine is damaged. But it manages to backpedal its way to safety. And we'll be heading back to base. Center victory point has been capped for the correct 340 to 371. So victory points are pretty even for everybody here. And the Panzer IV has done some damage. Still at about, I don't know, 75% strength. And uh, 8 kills. So it's been doing okay, but nobody seems to be losing too much. Major, now on the field for Vindicar X. Interesting that he did end up going for the Major. I mean, nothing wrong with it, but considering the Doctrine, I mean, I would assume he would have relied on those. But, you know, there's always a reason to get the Major. And, of course, sets up the retreat spot a little bit closer to the front, making sure that he does not concede his fuel and is quickly available to get back into the center. Pack Howitzer getting a nice shot off on the MG-42, getting it pinned down, making sure that 
its uh, suppressing abilities are null until it breaks its suppression. There it goes. And oh, a nice bundle grenade goes off there by the Panzer Grenadiers, clearing out the pack howitzer. And now the Shreks are focusing fire on the pack howitzer. They may be able to take it out before he can recover it. In the correct, rushing forward, trying to recover the uh, damaged weapon. But no, Gentle Fox managing to steal a nice ninja kill there on the pack howitzer. And the pack howitzer has been eliminated. 222 pushes up, takes a shot to the face by the AT gun, and manages to make it out of there. Veteran 23 has been acquired, only 8 kills, but it has done a lot of damage, and taking a lot of damage to do so. So the Veteran C2 improves vehicle sighting and weapon accuracy, Veteran C3, vehicle mobility and weapon accuracy. So, pretty cool. Sherman? Yeah? Standard Sherman getting produced for Vindicare X. I mean, he does not have the 10 command points to be able to call in a bulldozer. So I suppose, you know, it's fine. Uh, not sure if he wanted to get a bulldozer, but he is going for Standard Sherman, which is also quite fine. Command Tank getting called in for General Fox. Command Tank, I feel much more useful now than it once was. The, uh, the modification to its aura... Well, not aura, but its ability, its defensive ability, being an aura rather than territory dependent, makes it much more, uh, much more active, much more combat oriented. Oh, nasty shot there by the Panzer IV, eliminating almost an entire rifle squad. Hits retreat on it. Can it actually make it out of there? It looks like it's barely gonna make it out. Oh wow, look at that hit! Four guys dying and one blow from the tank. Jeez. That's pretty badass there for that Panzer IV. Command tank coming up for a flank. Gonna see if it can catch anything out in the open. It does have a nice angle here on the AT gun. The AT gun is currently focusing on the left-hand side. We are echelon squad, however, taking the first shot by the command tank. The AT gun is now gonna move back, but there are no other additional troops. No, we do have bazookas right there. Go for the bazookas. There we go. Nice bazooka shots going off on the Panzer IV. Panzer IV backing off. And the AT gun manages to stay alive. Vindicare, though, does give away that uh, all his troops are retreating right there to the front, so... Needs to be rather careful. I mean, we do have railway artillery, but... Still not quite there. <laughs> Would be devastating, though, if a shot nails everything there on the retreat. So infantry block pushing here for Vindicare X. They were all together, so not exactly intended, but still gonna be... Kind of a blob. Panzer Grenadier is unable to do too much against that. Does have the defensive buff here by the Panzer IV, but even with that, it will quickly die if it stays there. We do have a bar out on the world. Nobody available to pick it up. Panzer Grenadiers can't pick it up because of the Shreks. And G42 as well. The weapon seems so they can't do too much. Well, something got hit there. Not exactly sure what it was. AT gun does get taken out. We see the uh, infantry troops pushing forward. Mortar getting some nice shots off in there. Rifle squad pushing forward with its bazookas, trying to get some shots on the Panzer IV. Panzer IV managing to push them back. And try to see if I can catch the uh, railway shot, the first railway shot, see if it did anything good. Vindicarex uh, <laughs> not really liking. U.S. forces. Throws in the GG by Gentle Fox, but has not yet thrown in the towel. We'll see if that's imminent or not. Panzer Grenadiers capturing that fuel point. Command tank still trying to hold the line against all the infantry. The bazooka is unable to do too much to it. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Vindicure X throwing in the towel. Uh, the Panzer IV got killed, uh, not the Panzer IV, the Sherman got killed at some point over here around. Uh, there it is, which we missed, so I'll make sure that at least I can catch that. But I'm assuming then with the Sherman dead, that was enough for him. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.